Let's take a look at Kyrie Irving, shall we? Based on the news that, again, the Shams Sharania of The Athletic is saying that there's an impasse between the Nets and Kyrie for a long-term deal, longer than the one-year player option. And um, looks like Kyrie can hit the open market. And that would lead to a Lakers or a Knicks or even a Clippers signing. And all I could say is, is I don't know which one I'd want to see more just in terms of a rubberneck. You want Kyrie Irving on the Clips? I mean, TJ Jefferson, the, do you want Kyrie Irving on the Clippers? It's a simple yes or no answer. It's never that simple. It's, it's, of course it is. Well, you might be like, yeah, well, I could have Kyrie, but I have to give up Kawhi. Then the answer is no. You're not giving up Kawhi. That's not going to happen. Clearly, they'd have to have, they'd have yeah. to give up so other pieces. I'm saying depending on the pieces that you lose. But yeah, as long as Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are still on the, the team. I, I would say that they would still be on the team and you'd yeah. add Kyrie Irving. You'd want to have him in the mix. I, I'd be willing to take that chance. Okay. Yeah. And there's not cool. any concern... By the way, I appreciate you you biting in that way. There's no concern that ever since he made that move away from LeBron, which I think surprised all of us. Remember we when when Kyrie said yeah. he wanted to be his own star on a team, he didn't want to be Robin to LeBron's Batman. We were all looking at that story as a prism or a window into LeBron's issues and faults, if you remember, right? <laughs> remember at the time we were all looking at it, LeBron must have made life difficult for Kyrie <laughs> that he wants to leave LeBron. And ever since then, every single maneuver that has occurred, it's Kyrie that's at the center of it. Maybe it was Kyrie and his Thoughts, processes, processing, heart, want to, can do, all of them. Maybe it's on him. Because you ask a Celtic fan if they are better off post Kyrie. Yep. There's your answer. <laughs> How many net fans reading this news today are like, oh man, they can't lose Kyrie. That would be dreadful. What are we going to do? Maybe some. But there's a bunch saying, I'd love to see what this team looks like without him. And there must be that there, there's an iceberg and we're just seeing the tip, man. I'll tell you that there's got to be a lot of ice under that Brooklyn water, man. If they are balking at giving him a long-term deal. So you want him? Let's see what happens because every single last of his two stops, he and his remarkable talent, He's one of the best at the position scoring and distributing. That's why he'll always get a chance. I get it. You know, that's he is insanely talented. Because if you can eliminate all the other junk and you just put the man on, yeah, on the basketball court, bro, yeah. there is very few better. But the the, but the, the yeah, basketball the world is isn't there. the basketball yeah. world isn't flat. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Maybe we could get him on a boat with Del Tufo. They go It's around and out. it keeps spinning. And it looks like it's spinning out of Brooklyn. So the question is, where would you want it? So the Clippers would be interesting. Kyrie joins Kawhi just as he's coming back and hooks up with he and playoff P. Palm Del P. And whoever is still around on that team with Teron Liu, I think, as you know, has a history with winning championships with that particular player in Kyrie Irving? It, it, pretty much the reason why I'd be like, this sure, is why, okay, okay. If so anyone it, might these be able work, to steer These things him. work, these things work, and it would be interesting if he joins the Clippers, just as the Lakers are at that crossroads with LeBron. So LeBron and Kyrie in the same building, just not on the same team. Well, that not would be in the same pretty, building for long, though. Okay, that were well, this year, this they would year. be in the same building, which may or may not still be called Crypto.com. I shouldn't laugh <laughs> for all the people taking baths wow. right now. But so... You could wow. make a case that that would be fascinating, right? Yeah, fascinating. For sure. Okay. There's a story there. If he joins the Lakers. Oh, man. Now, the question would be, Ugh. do the Lakers get out of their Westbrook conundrum? They have to. 
Yeah. Is it po- again? You read Shams' story and your head starts spinning because he lays it all out there about how to make this happen. Kyrie's got to opt in with Brooklyn and then they trade him for salary cap purposes and certain players need to come east from Los Angeles in order to make it work. A third team may have to be involved. I don't have the slide rule. I don't have the the Larry Bird, you know, numbers or yeah. all of that so business. Kyrie is on a player option for 22-23 for $37 million. Right. So, that's so what Shams I know that, but you there – so, some salaries have to match. Other, so it's not as simple as like, yeah, Westbrook's gone and Kyrie comes here and you know everybody goes back to their own. Right. Which do you think Brooklyn would want Westbrook with Durant? Two thirds of the old Oklahoma City Thunder combo with Ben Simmons, Simmons, Westbrook, Durant, Seth Curry. I don't know who would have to come. Mm-hmm. Along with Kyrie to make it happen, is it just Kyrie? I don't know. I if KD so let's just say that. Kyrie. Let's just say Kyrie is there. With, with it would be Kyrie and LeBron again with Anthony Davis. That's pretty remarkable. That's an upgrade. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> that is a big time upgrade. But then you'd see if Kyrie, you know, like the if the Uncle Drew era Kyrie can actually be reincarnated where he is somebody who can defer to LeBron and win another championship with LeBron and be able to handle like, well, you could only win championships with LeBron, whatever stupidity comes out of the sports talk blathering as if he cares. I don't know what he cares about. And if this doesn't happen, if this doesn't happen and it's not because the Lakers couldn't make it work cap wise or whatever, it's because the Lakers didn't want to do it. What windows does that say about LeBron and Kyrie? What does that say about Kyrie? Maybe we use LeBron as the window of looking at Kyrie this time, as opposed to the other way around, like it used to be back in Cleveland. But to me, call me crazy. And I am because of the gravitational pull of the wormhole. <laughs> uh oh. It would be amazing. If the Knicks decided to go and get Kyrie Irving, oh my God, would that just be a spectacular setup? First of all, Kyrie would play out of his mind just because he's geographically closer to his home of New Jersey. (laughs) He doesn't have to go past the island of Manhattan. Do you know how many bridges you have to, and tunnels you have to go through? I can't imagine the traffic just for him to go back to New Jersey, which is where he's from. And he could then shoot a video arriving on the other side of the Brooklyn Bridge to herald his return closer to his ancestral home (laughs) of New Jersey. Oh, gosh. And the Knicks fans who would just react the same Nick fans who, it's interestingly enough to remember, on this day there's a Warriors parade. The parade of Nick fans who celebrated that season opening win over the Bucks, Like they had just won the championship outside of Penn Station going ape for every camera with a light on it. Recording their joy to go 1-0 and in an eventual playoff missing season. Dolan, do it. Please, you'll screw it up. It'll just go so south, so sour. It will be great to watch. It'll be amazing. Oh, boy. Because the Knicks have a history of choosing people on the back end of their careers who are poor fits for the team. The Julius Randle carriage is already turned back into a pumpkin. I love the coach. Trust me, I love the coach. And I love that arena. Oh, my God, I grew up in it. Tell me it's not the greatest move if the Knicks go and get Kyrie just for the rubberneck. (laughs) I know you want the Lakers deep down, Chris, because you want to see him come here and implode and drag LeBron's remaining window of championship caliber play right down into the deep bottom of the sea next to Davy Jones's locker. You want to see that happen? Uh, Yeah, it'd be hilarious. Yeah, I mean, no other way to put it. It'd be funny. 
Oh, boy. I think, though, that would be the one that works out the best. If he comes here and plays with LeBron and the two of them team up one more time for another championship for LeBron here and Kyrie gets to get a spot out in Malibu if he wants to see the sunset, (laughs) although it is very far away from New Jersey, um, you know. I really don't think LeBron would want Kyrie. I don't know. Well, we're going to find out, won't we? Or to see how much influence he has. Because it seems that Kyrie and the Nets are breaking up. Which is hard to do unless you're talking about Kyrie Irving, it seems here. Supremely talented. Wickedly talented, to Wick- use the old Wick- phrase. Wicked. He's the Adele Dazeem of the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Wickedly, wickedly talented. Adele Dazeem is what Please he is. welcome the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazeem. There you go. <laughs> what would be Kyrie's uh, Travolta name, I wonder? That, is that, I don't know. Is that site still up? Could be Adele Dazeem as well. I don't know. He's wickedly talented, but who the hell knows what Keith else Ingram. is coming? I'm telling you, in Brooklyn, there's an iceberg. We're just seeing just the tip. Let's take a break here. Oh, gosh. Uh, what we, we, we've got on the program um, Robert Sala of the New York Jets. The head coach is going to be joining us with the timber, laying the wood for the New York Jets. And his voice, Robert Sala, fresh off of the the uh, the, the old uh, the old mandatory minicam of the, the Jets. The Travolta name generator still exists. Uh, Kyrie Irving is Kyle Grizzen. Kyle Grizzen, everybody. <laughs> Kyle Grizzen. I like it. Very good. Robert Sala. <laughs> What a great, what a great generator that is. Thank God it lives on today. 